All right, next shoe is the i5923. It's the updated modern, well, updated version of the Aniki, which I like the name Aniki better than I like the i5923. This shoe features boost. So the blue box that you see, unlike the uh, D-Rub box, you look at it, they look the same, but they are not the same. What you see on this box, and I want to see if you can see it at the angle. You see it says boost on the box. Is written on the box. It says boost. All right, and that tells you what the cushioning system is. But this is the i5923 i-5923. It's no color on it, man. It's a gray version of the shoe. It's no color on the tag at all. I don't know. I really don't understand Adidas for doing that. But the style code is BB2089. Um, typically, when you go to the website, the website will have a color, but there's no color on the box. It doesn't say. It's just your style code. Um, the UPC for the size 12 is 889-766-255-561. The UPC PO number is 119-472-154. The ABS BOOYLUS slash 0517 slash V02 is the box code for the box itself. Now on the inside of it, I open it up. There's nothing on the inside of the lid. And there goes the shoe, the gray, and then it has a gold printed I5923. I'm pulling the shoe out of the box because I'm looking for a anti-mold sticker that's inside of it. It's not taped to the inside of the box, but there goes our in here at the top at the corner. You see the QC sticker, and it reads LHG42 final. All right, I'm going to put this back in. The paper is the tray foil paper, the white and light tan goldish tray foils all over the paper. And here's our shoe. All right, and once again, on the back of the tongue, it's the size tag. And this is how we would verify authenticity with this shoe. We would look at the UPC PO number that's on here and match it with the front of the box. And those are really quick, good checks for you to do that. The Iniki in gray here, that almost looks like a forest kind of gray. It's like a darkish gray, kind of like with a tint. But this roll gold aglet is really nice on this shoe. It's a nice touch. This is one of my favorite shoes from last year. Um, it was the Iniki last year, but they changed it over this year to the i5923. And for the life of me, I can't explain to you why they did that. Um, it has something to do with one of the older products that they had that they based the Iniki on back in the day. So here we go. This tongue does not, you know, it's not separated. It's basically like a sock liner. It's connected to the size of the shoe. So let's get back and focus real quick and get into our 360 and wrap this one up. All right, so our 360 on the Nikki or the I5923, we got our toe, toe box, top of the shoe, left, one of the best kind of casual shoes that Adidas has made in the last year and a half or two. I really love this shoe. I think it's a great looking shoe. I know some people are like, nah, son. I do. I like it, though. They could really get away with doing some more premium materials on this and possibly switching it over to a leather, like a Horween leather. It'd be kind of dope. You see the rubber underfoot and the boost. Now, so, and once again, just like the D-Rupt, the shoe doesn't have any structure to it. So if you have a foot that kind of pronates and rolls a lot, there's no structure to this shoe. It's not a running shoe or anything else. It's simply a lifestyle shoe. Like I said with the D-Rupt, it's very much like a really fancy house shoe. But it feels great. And I think it's a good looking shoe, especially with like denim and stuff like that. But that's it. See you guys on the next one.